Hey everybody. So there was a pr pretty insane incident that happened at the Dallas airport in mid 2021 involving a woman named Terry Blues who was captured on two brief videos by a passenger who was himself about to board Terry's plane along with her. As she petitioned the onlooking crowd to sympathize with her though, claiming a man had just thrown her to the ground and detained her and even choked her by the neck, the man recording the video infamously responded with, Boo Hoo, which is how she picked up that infamous moniker Boo Hoo Karen. We have since obtained a whole hell of a lot more information, and more importantly, the mother of all footage of the incident from up close and personal, and we'll get to that in just a second. But first, for those who may not have seen it or need a refresher, this is the original viral TikTok video of the incident that racked up tens of millions of views across the internet. Oh. I saw you run through the door when you weren't supposed he to. And I saw him push you out the door. You deserve a pretty fair mistake. In a dress? Boo hoo. Boo hoo. Boo hoo. You f off. Not helping. Not helping. Excuse me? I want the manager of the airport here. Now, obviously, this short clip is a very entertaining snippet, but it gave little insight into what was actually going on here, and the TikTok user and airport passenger who posted it never offered any sort of follow-up or story time. We're left wondering how this got so out of control, how much of what she was saying was true, and what happened to her afterward. The news, on the other hand, became very interested in this story, and several outlets reported on the incident with more detail almost immediately after the fact. Newsweek, for instance, released this report just six days after the incident occurred and four days after it went viral. Newsweek claimed to have obtained the police report from the incident, from which we learned that a customer service rep for American Airlines had provided an account of what caused this to happen. Now, according to that report, Blues allegedly yelled while at the terminal counter and was told to sit down. Sometime later, when she was denied access to the flight, she allegedly ran to the terminal bridge door in an attempt to get through. A male passenger then allegedly pushed Blues away from the door, causing her to fall over. You'll recall that Blues also accused a male passenger of throwing her to the ground and choking her, but according to the report, the officer spoke to the male passenger who, quote, stated he saw a ruckus at the counter and heard Blues was denied boarding the flight. He stated he saw Blues rush to the door, try to open it, and then he pushed her away from the door. I asked him if he got a hold of Blues' neck, and he stated, no, I pushed her back, unquote. So... This contradicts Blues' accusation, which would leave us with a sort of he said, she said scenario, except that, as you'll recall, the guy who recorded this video, we'll call him Kev, told her that all he saw happen was that she was pushed on the ground by the guy who claims put her in a, ch uh, she claims put her in a chokehold after trying to force her way into the terminal. Another passenger there that day, a woman named Bryn Danielle, who actually also recorded some viral footage of the aftermath from afar, claims she also only saw the man push her away from the terminal do door and saw no chokehold whatsoever. But you know what? Let's hear it from the man himself. This is the police body cam footage of an officer interviewing the mysterious blue shirt chokehold man to get his side of the story. This is immediately in the aftermath of her meltdown. Check this out. Thank you. Mm -hmm. you. Was it you? Yes. yes. Can you come out? Sure. She's not going to bother. You can right, come out, too. How are you? So what happened? So she was I was walking up as soon as I saw, only saw a little bit. She was bit. making a ruckus over there in front of the thing. We were boarding. And, uh, she came up behind us to get in the boarding line. Mm -hmm. And it wasn't her group, I guess. The lady right here told her to, that she couldn't board. Uh, and she was cussing and making a... And busted through. She tried to bust through? Yeah. She came over and shut the door to us to go in. One of, 
the door was halfway shut and she came rushing through the door. I pushed and her said back. Jim pushed her she back. said that you grabbed her neck. Uh, you pushed her. So you pushed her back so she couldn't get through. So right? she couldn't get through the door they were trying to close. Yeah. To, and she okay. fell to the ground. Can I go? Can I go? Yeah, yeah. 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 I understand. Okay. Yep. So you have an idea or anything? Absolutely, yeah. Now, millions of people saw the distant short footage of her viral meltdown, uh, the TikTok video we played earlier, but a lot of people don't know that she was actually taken to jail and booked and charged on multiple counts. And as I mentioned, there is actual full screen HD footage of this event from the Axon body camera perspectives of the officer we just watched interview blue shirt guy. First and foremost, this is the initial breakout of the viral moment like you've never seen it before. As being, being a Raleigh passenger, we told her to come down, sit down because she acting like she is drunk or something. And she then drunk? when we told we told her to sit down and then she ran and I told her her to close the door and she and somebody else, another passenger, push her. I think she's intoxicated. Oh. Yeah, we have Is that having a mask? Huh? So yeah. has she no been mask. drinking? I did nothing. Ma'am, what happened? This guy choke holding me! Ma'am. What the f is wrong with him? Calm down. Keep it down, okay? No, you need to talk to him. He choke holding me. Down. They saw it! Ma'am. They saw it! Ma'am, calm down. Listen, I'm fine. I need to get to my great aunt's memorial service. I've been de detained and held up all day. You can go through my bags. I have nothing. My God, what is wrong with America? Calm down. Calm down. No, so, that guy needs to be arrested. Come on, let's go over here. You saw, you saw it. You saw it. You saw it. Ma'am. You saw it. Ma'am. Keep. He choked on me. Ma'am, what's your name? I'm Officer Alton. He threw me to the ground. What's your name? My name is Terry Ann Blue. Look him over here and we'll talk, okay? I want the manager of the airport here! Who saw me and choked me? Choke Who saw him choke me to the ground? Who saw me? I saw you Quickly run through the door here. when you weren't supposed he to. He choked me to the ground! Ma'am, let's go over here. Ma'am. I'm a woman! Over here. In a dress! Ma'am, let's go over here. Ma'am, let's go over here, okay? Boo-hoo! You not fuck help. off! Not helping. Not helping. Ma'am, go over here. I want the manager of the airport here! Ma'am! No! Ma'am! No! Calm down. I want the manager here! Okay, we'll get the manager. What is your name? My name is Terry Ann Blues! I'm not gonna be treated like this! Calm down. He chuckled me to the ground! I'm not gonna be treated like this! Ma'am. I Ma want an officer here! Ma'am, I am Officer Alfred. Trying to go. You cannot treat someone like this. 
Ma'am, calm down. I'm going to Shreveport, Louisiana to my great aunt's funeral! Ma'am. Now, God damn it! Get me somebody that can help me! Ma'am, I'm here to help you. No, you're not helping I'm me. I'm here to help you. No, you're not helping me. Ma'am, I can help you if you calm down a little bit, okay? Can you that calm guy chokeholded me. Where is my luggage? Ma'am. Everybody took my stuff! Ma'am, calm down. Well, I can help you if you calm he down. He threw me to the okay. ground! I understand that, so... No, there's cameras! What are you talking about? Oh my god! Take some deep breaths, okay? Take some no. deep breaths. I want the manager of the airport here. Ma'am, calm down. This is not happening. That guy had no right to throw okay. me to the ground. He chokeholded okay. me. Okay, so what happened? Calm. If I, I'm officer Hoffman, okay? I'm here I, to help. Uh, I'm okay. trying to get my ass funeral. God okay. damn it. it I've had nothing but problems. Okay. Uh, God. So what happened? He threw me to the ground because I tried to enter the door because this woman said I had Stay over here. that woman causing problems. Ma'am, did you try to go into the door? I don't know. Dude, I'm just trying to get to my aunt's memorial. Please. <laughs> oh, God. You'll notice that she really skips over that question. She just says, I don't know if I ran up to the terminal door, which means she either doesn't remember four minutes ago uh, or she knows what she did was wrong and a little bit crazy and that these are the consequences of her actions and just doesn't want to say so. I had a couple of cocktails. Yeah, I'm about to. This woman had no around. reason. I'm for you to get over here. Hey. Ma'am, come over here. No, I'm not. Here. I didn't do anything. You'll notice that pretty much everyone involved immediately assumes that she's intoxicated, uh, and you hear her say, I had a couple of drinks before the flight. According to Terry's bar receipts, which were included in the police report uh, that was filed a couple days later, she only had two margaritas before this flight. Now, sure, that's enough to get a little buzzy, but this... Anyway, he heads over to interview the employee who was working the desk, and apparently she was the first person to make contact with BHK on that fateful day. And what she said uh, was pretty interesting. So did you guys deny her flight? Okay, so she came over here screaming at me. I told her, are you going to Tyler? I work in Tyler. Tyler, no, you don't do a, you, you do, you're not doing a shit. Then she come over here with attitude, then she went over the third report flight. And we told her to sit down and calm down. She cannot be doing this drama around her. And everybody was looking at her. Yeah. Then when we started the boarding process, um, she she just jumped on, on Marie saying, ma'am, you okay to, to board now? And she started like acting like crazy, but she, had, she was screaming in the, in the seat. When I, we, we denied her boarding, she just ran over the door and I just followed her. I said, ma'am, you cannot do that. And then when I see that guy doing like, something like something like this and then push her and she and she just fall over my my food did he push her just because he was trying not yeah to i just her? i didn't touch her i just told her hey ma'am is that guy out there that. right now and then another guy he got a blue shirt he shot on her and pushed her back she okay. was she followed my feet and then she starts screaming and crying okay that's what happened mm -hmm. But with Marines, I would try to because I, she was added to me and then she got added to with Marines. So basically she was denied boarding? Yeah, she was denied boarding because we, 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 we were that. Thank you for helping me! They are not. She's a Yeah. And she tried to run. And say, you have some drinks, you're okay to board. Like, I got, I got COVID shot. Are those uh, two guys on the uh, airplane right now? Yeah, two passengers are down there. Can I continue the board? Uh, yeah. Oh, she she ran. Yeah. So, according to this employee, and admittedly, it's a bit hard to understand her with both the mask and her semi-thick accent, she had initially approached the terminal desk, meaning Karen, uh, already screaming and causing a scene and not making much sense, and they told her to go sit down and calm down before they uh, let her on the flight. 
When the boarding process started though, she was still acting crazy and this employee told her she wasn't going to be able to board. That was what caused her to run up to the terminal door where she was confronted by the other passenger who pushed her. We learned two new things here. First, Terry had already acted like this before she was ever denied boarding. And in fact, her acting out was what had gotten her denied and pushed in the first place. Second, the employee seems to be at least half contradicting the accounts of the two passengers uh, who claimed she was never choked or grabbed by the neck and the... Uh, the guy who was interviewed himself who said as much. And in fact, this employee says he did at one point put his hands on her neck in what certainly from the way she demonstrates here looks like a bit of a choke, but certainly not a choke hold, which is when you detain someone with an arm wrapped around their neck on the floor. Now, she just may not know that, and that's the only word that she could come up with for what happened to her. We don't know. Okay, next we get the police confrontation with her uh, over by the drinking fountains, uh, where she eventually gets herself arrested. I'm gonna take you to get some water. Let's talk with you, okay? You wanna go get some water? Okay? There's a water fountain over here, okay? Do you wanna get some water? Here. Yeah, everybody, thank you for sticking up for me. Okay. Everybody that saw that passenger choke holding me. And throw me choke hold me. And throw me to the ground. Thank you for helping me. That's her stuff. They all saw it. They all saw it. Okay, Terry. He's still there in the door. The guy that choke holded me. Terry, okay. Terry, okay. Here, get some water. Yeah, don't care about my shit. I don't care. I just want to go home. Terry. I didn't deserve this. I know. I didn't. I know. <laughs> Calm down. Cause you want to lock me up? Go ahead. I didn't do anything wrong, so go ahead. Breathe, Terry. Relax, okay? You're fine. My flight's leaving. I need to get to my great aunt's funeral, okay? Okay. okay? That's all I'm trying to do. I'm coming from Oregon. Okay. Across the nation, and I get the shit. Okay. I get chokeholded do you have by a, another passenger. Do you have a purse? I can't believe this! Terry, do you have a purse? Terry. Do you have it a got taken from me! All my it's shit's it's gone! Over there. It's over here, man. It's on there. Breathe, Terry. I, I've had enough! Okay. I, I I didn't deserve this! Okay. Yeah, you're okay. Good. Keep breathing. Keep it's breathing. Not, it's not fair. I, Keep breathing, Terry. That girl at the reservation desk, she did it. She okay. sent him on me. Yeah. I had, okay. I didn't do anything wrong. I checked in. I asked for an early check-in. Okay. Oh my God, I'm never flying again. I can't stand America. I'm moving to Spain. Did you have anything to drink today, Terry? Yes, I did. Is that against the law? No, it's not. How much did you have a drink today? I had a couple of margaritas. A couple of margaritas. You can go talk to the bartender. Okay. I had a very fine time with those people until okay. I got here. Okay. What bar was it at? Bellino's Pizza? Right down there? Yes, you can talk to... Okay. Okay, keep breathing. Richie. You're fine. Do you, take any, do you take any medication? No, come on! I'm health? not a psycho! I'm trying to make sure you don't have any health, <laughs> health conditions. Terry, I'm trying to make sure you don't have any health conditions. You're not diabetic, anything like that? No, no? Okay. they didn't do this to me for that reason. I don't know why they did. Okay, just breathe. You're fine. Just breathe. Are you traveling by yourself? Yes, I didn't deserve this. I really didn't. You already ran her and got her Oh my god! Yes. And my Aunt Dolores! Terry, keep breathing. Relax. You're fine. You're gonna get on the next available flight. We're gonna see if we can get you on another flight, okay? No, I need to be on the street for a flight. This, my cousin's meeting me to take me out to dinner. Okay, you're gonna be It's fine. a very important man. Okay. My aunt was a very important woman. Is this your stuff? God damn it. Please get me on this flight! Terry, is this your, this your stuff? stuff right? <laughs> Is your, yes! is your driver's license in here? Driver's license in that chair? <laughs> yes! What are you gonna run the report on me? Yeah, it's can in I, there. Can I get it? Go ahead! Okay. 
there. Keep breathing. You're fine, okay? Keep breathing. What do you want to see? I have a report in Washington State. No, I just need your... Where is it at in your... Okay, we're just gonna, I'm gonna more than I tell them. She said, yeah, yeah. This really makes me sick! Hey, No, I, this is not right! You got the poster. You let another passenger choke hold me! No, I didn't! Terry, Terry, calm down. We're cool, remember? They're not doing what is, this to what me. Is that? I gotta get to my You try to rush in. Memorial, she did? She did. Please okay. help me. Open the door. Sure. He pushed her out. Can you trust me? Okay. Because she was denied for you. Can you trust me? Gotcha. So, she's, she's saying that you can grab her neck. Or like, I'm yeah. not playing okay. games here. I need to get a whole Drink some more water. Drink some more water. Keep breathing. Drink some more water. Push it. Here. No, why aren't you talking to that guy that choked holding me? The officers are there. He's a passenger. He had no right. He's not a police officer. He was a passenger with his wife that choked holding me right there. Okay. Everybody saw it. Okay. Just why is nobody investigating it? He's investigating. He's investigating. Well, I'm making a fucking federal report on this airport. Okay. Believe me. Okay, Terry. Get some water. Push it. There you go. There. I've never had there such bad customer service. Okay. Get some water. Get it while I'm pushing it. Okay. Did he get those guys' information? All this stuff. You call for a You can call that. Go talk to him. Richie. Here. Andy's at that pizza place. Oh, you went to the pizza place? Yeah, okay. he's told, you can tell him. Did you pay with credit card or did you pay with cash? Do you remember? I paid with my debit card. Do you have a receipt? Yeah, I do. Can you mind if he gets it? No, you're not touching my stuff. Okay, okay, well, you can get it. Here. There we go. Oh, the f out of here. I'm so sick of this place. Here, you put it back in your purse or you got it? You go talk to him. You tell him how f***ed up I was. Here. I wasn't at all. Here. Until that guy choke holding me. Here. No, you haven't even gotten him off the plane to talk to him. Terry. No! Relax, Terry. Relax. You need to investigate. Relax. I... Terry, relax. I'm a retired officer. Okay. I don't know. I don't have to... Who are you a police officer with? New NYPD, is that good enough? No, that's, that's good. Thank you for your service, Terry. I think it's just worth mentioning here. She is absolutely not a former or current police officer for any department and has never served as a police officer at any point. That was a total fabrication. No, I don't need to explain why that guy choke holding me when he's a passenger. And nobody here stood Terry. up for me. Nobody Terry. took a report, nothing. Terry, calm down. It's all Terry, you relax. bet I'm gonna get it. Okay. I'll, re relax. I'll request yeah, it. Yeah. I'll request yeah. every surveillance yeah. camera in this goddamn airport. I just wanted to get her drink information out of her. Okay. And why nobody stood up for me? Why nobody saw it? Terry. Everybody saw it. Terry. Nobody would stand up and said this girl was chokeholded by a passenger. Terry. Shame on all of you. Terry, calm down. I don't give a sh. Terry, calm down. Down, That's down. why America is going to the dogs, because nobody will stand up for anyone. So here they've decided they've seen enough to uh, arrest her, and you hear the female officer remark, I just needed to get her drink information, meaning they needed to confirm that she was indeed intoxicated to be able to reasonably arrest her. I have to briefly remark, though, on the incredible professionalism of the female officer through this whole thing. I have at times been tough on police, uh, but this is exemplary any way you slice it. Ten stars. Uh, so, okay, at this point, the officers have seen enough, and they decide this lady is going to jail. The arrest did not go well. You piece of shit. Put your other arm behind your back. Arm, I'm not. No. Oh, I'm being arrested for being chokehold. Please, somebody film this. Please, someone film this. She's being Don't recorded, ma'am. Please, worry. someone film this. Please. You want to lock it? Yeah. God damn it. Please, someone. 
It's being recorded, man, by both of us, all right? I didn't do anything. I have to get on this plane. Why am I being held? Why? That guy jump holding me. You You're holding me for my fight. Someone please record this. Please. God damn it. Let's have you sit down, Let's Terry. Terry. You have these cups on very fast. Let's have you sit down, Let's have Terry. Terry. You have these cuffs on very <laughs> I'm not being transported. Sit down. Take the cuffs off of me! Yeah, I'm taking them off. Get her stuff. I need my stuff. We're gonna grab it, Terry. We're gonna grab it. Wait, wait, wait. This shit's cutting my ass. cutting my wrist. Come on. You said you'd help me. I did. We adjust the cuffs then. Are you gonna relax for me to do it? I couldn't put them on correctly because you kept moving. I will calm down. You fix them. Okay. Sit up. Sit up. Sit up. Uh, I'm gonna miss my ass funeral. Oh. oh my god! No, please, somebody help me, please. Terry, take a step up and scoot back. Take a step up and scoot back. No, I'm not going to. You okay. said you would help me. I'm trying to help you. No, you're not. I'm trying to help you. You're two faced. Two faced. There we go. Sit back. Stop! You're hurting my. Terry. Goddamn wrist! You have to sit back, Terry. Fix them! Terry, sit back. No, I'm not going to until you fix them. Right. You're cutting into my wrist. Terry. No, you fix the fucking handcuffs. Terry, we're about to roll. No! Fix them. Every time I try to fix them, I'm not going to move. You try one yeah. more time. God damn you. Elfman. You said you would help me. When you leave, get her stuff, please. There we go. Pick up your feet, man. No, I'm not going to. Pick up your feet. No, I'm not going to. Leave me alone. Harry, relax. Stop it. There you go. Good work. Look at her stuff. What? There you go. Here, you, you want to get her stuff and I'll... Fuck her. I'll watch. Wait, you told me you sit would help me. Sit Harry, sit no. down. Damn, sit down, okay? They're cutting into my wrist. God damn you. Ma'am. Ow! Stop! Oh my God. Harry, three. Three. Oh, you f***ing assholes. I hate America. Leave me alone. No! Leave me alone! Well, you f***ing assholes! Ow! They wheel her through the airport as she continues moaning and repeating herself, crying about how unfair it all is and how much the handcuffs hurt her wrists. But if there was any doubt in your mind that Terry is actually really not a good person, uh, what she says to these two black officers when she gets into the police vehicle and thinks she is no longer uh, being heard by the public uh, will erase any doubt. No! Huh? I've never been in jail! No! Somebody please film this! Please film this! Please! Somebody film this! God damn it, leave me alone! Do you have anything? I have to search you, Terry, just to make sure you Terry, get away from me! Uh, you know, they, they saw them put my mask back on. Here, you. My mask back okay. on. She told me she would help me. She's a two-face. God damn it, you asshole. I just got you kicking, my, kicking my partner on camera, so... Yeah. I don't care! Okay. I've never been in jail in my life! You assholes! I'm trying to get to my ass here! I'm trying to get to my ass funeral. Oh my god! Oh my god! I can't miss this flight! I can't miss this flight! Right. Stand up, stand up, Terry. Don't touch me! Get your Alright. Terry, 
step, step in. I want to know where I'm going. You're going to the jail. That's where you're going. Let's For go. what? I didn't do anything! I want to know where I'm going. You're going to the jail. That's where you're going. Let's For go. what? I didn't do anything! You're under arrest for public intoxication. Uh, I'm court. not intoxicated! Harris. I told you to talk to the bartender! Please help me! Help me! Help me! Help me! Harris. Somebody! Please help me! Let go of these cops! You, buckle, man. you need to step man, up. You need to step up. I won't step up! Just let go of the cops! They're killing me! Okay. I, I can't well, do you anything! Stand up. You stand up on Just let go of the cops! Stand up on your own. You stand up on your own. Stand up and step in. Okay, man. Take, take your step left up. foot and put yeah, it up there, okay? Let go of the cuffs. We're not taking the cuffs off. I'm not doing anything unless you let go of these. I can't do. I can't do anything. Ma'am. No. Listen. Let go of the cuffs. Ma'am. You break my arm. I'm not trying to break your arm, but you are, you are state of resistance. No, I'm not. Yes, let go of the cuffs. I'm sitting here normally, please. You I'm a mother! Don't do this to me! Step up, ma'am. God ma damn you! Ma'am. You have some civil rights. God damn you! Step up, ma'am. Ma'am, step up. No! Take a step up. You take a f both of your goddamn badge! Take a step up, ma'am. No! Ma'am, take a step I've up. I've been in the New York goddamn police department. Take a step you up, take an oath of your bath. Take a step up. Step up. Somebody take these cops off of me! They're not coming off, man. And you're gonna get in this car. You f take them off! You'll notice our friend here in the back is visibly smiling and chuckling throughout this entire thing. Not take them off. off! You didn't even talk to the bartender! Ma'am, take a step up. I can no, I'm not! I don't care! I didn't do anything wrong! I didn't do anything! Yeah. I didn't do anything wrong. Yeah. You, you call the goddamn city. Yeah. No, you're breaking my arms. Yeah. You don't want to sister, not me. Oh! Take a step up. Oh! No, you f stop it. Stop. Ma'am, step, step up. up. No. Step in the vehicle. You f asshole. Let me alone. Let me alone. Terry. Let me She carries on like this for some time, but eventually they do manage to get her into the cruiser, uh, semi-willingly, I guess, after adjusting her cuffs for her, at which point her true and incredibly racist colors uh, start to come out, now that she's out of the public eye and doesn't think anyone's watching. I obviously have to censor this for YouTube, but Terry decided to call these black officers a racial slur. Yes, exactly the one you're thinking of, not once, but twice. And then she brings up slavery and George Floyd. And you can hear that this got a little personal at this point for one of our officers. Not that I blame him. Good. Thank you. Absolutely. Just take me to the Starting out is one three three eight two. Yeah, it's legal in Washington. One white female. 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 Just keep kissing the 
white man's ass. Just keep on. You got extra gloves in your pocket? You got extra gloves in your pocket by chance? I got some of my bag in the back. Uh, she smelled that marijuana like she never smelled it before. Hey, it's illegal in half the states in America, you dumbasses. Except in the state of Texas. Who the f did Who the f Well, I guess you. You will. Ma'am, can I ask you a question? No, you not can't. No, you can't. You asked, you just said something about George Floyd's memorial, but you called me a So how did that how does that work out? Because you all are. Ah. Got all it. Are. Okay. Got it. Southern society. Thank That's you. why you're Oh, man. Thanks. And he is too. <laughs> Comrade. He's That's what we get for serving yeah. the country in the military, huh? Book me yeah. on that one too. That ain't that ain't no charge. Hey, you can you can say what you want, man. Get me out of here so I can call my lawyer. My feelings ain't hurt at all. Should we get we'll a, another person? When she gets to the police station or holding area, probably a holding area there at the airport, uh, she continues her tirade. going to call Joe Biden to get her out of jail. I'm sure that's going to work out. Yeah, perfect. Go down on your knees. Give me a break! My call me so I can sit down! Go down. Okay. Get off of me, you fat pig. I got it. I got it. Your weight's too heavy. Get off of me. I'm not on you. I'm next to you. Alright, this one's coming up. This one's going here. Whatever. You suck. All of you suck. You go to hell. You f***ing ask God about this tonight. 
you especially, ask God about what you did tonight. Okay, so obviously that's totally insane and way, way worse than anything we saw from the viral footage. Uh, and if there was a shred of sympathy left for her in the hearts of even my most understanding and good-souled viewers, this police body cam footage undoubtedly erased it. But what happened to Terry? What was she charged with? Where is she now? What was the source of her outburst? Was it intoxication or is she just like this. Well, we know from the police report that she was arrested for public intoxication, charged with resisting arrest, possible dangerous drug offense, and marijuana possession. When they searched her bag, apparently officers also found a weed pipe, which yes, is legal in Terry's home state of Washington, but absolutely not legal in Texas where she was, or in Louisiana where she was flying to. What confuses me most is how she was able to get all of this past TSA. Maybe they really are just security theater after all. So was her behavior a result of being crossfaded, having the effects of both the dank nugs and the two margaritas acting on her brain simultaneously? I found this theory doubtful, given that she's been at the airport for some time by now, and it's essentially impossible to get away with, get away with ripping a pipe at an airport. But she was also found with multiple types, get this, of pills on her person, being naxapran, gabapentin, diclofenic sodium, and tizanidine hydrochloride. And many people speculated that she could be suffering from the interaction between these drugs and her uh, aforementioned margaritas. And I find this theory much more likely. Gabapentin, for instance, which is both a seizure control medication and ironically an alcohol withdrawal treatment, is a depressant like alcohol, and when the two are combined, the brain doesn't get enough oxygen to function properly. Additionally, tizanidine and ethanol, obviously the key ingredient in margaritas, used together can cause dizziness, confusion, confusion, and difficulty concentrating. While the combination of diclofenic, an anti-inflammatory, doesn't cause any psychological effects, it does cause stomach ulcers, so watch out for that one, Terry. Anyway, if she was combining these first two medications with alcohol, it could have potentially had a pretty significant effect on her mental state and may help to explain some of the highly erratic behavior that we just witnessed. Not excuse, mind you, but explain? Quite possibly. But if she had truly just been intoxicated and sobered up to be truly embarrassed and contrite about this whole thing, that would have been something, at least, right? Well, I was very curious to see what Terry has been up to since then. This was two years ago now, and boy, oh boy, did I find a gold mine because Terry Bluse, ladies and gentlemen, is still active on Facebook. So I went back in her timeline to the day of the incident, May 25th, 2021, and fascinatingly, she was actively posting, not only that day, but in the days following. And none of it had anything to do with the incident at all, actually. Well, then I scrolled up a bit to this post from May 29th, a particularly interesting photo that she reposted with, uh, which depicts a woman in an Andrew Yang forward party t-shirt holding a sign that says, I'd like to speak to the manager of systematic racism. She left her own comment, if only you could. And this rather obviously stuck out to me because of the incredibly racist thing she said to the black police officers in the back of the car when she thought no one was watching. And I noticed that this particular photo had 81 comments. And wouldn't you know it, the very first comment I saw when I clicked was from not 2021 uh, when she posted it, but from 13 weeks ago, which would have been June 2023, uh, actually when this body cam footage was released. And lo and behold, it's a video of that recently released body cam footage we just went through. And Terry Bluse 
responded. But instead of being contrite, which for some reason I half expected, she said, I was lifted up by my neck and slammed to the ground on my back. Another user commented so shocked how the staff and police were treated, to which Terry responded, you know nothing, shut the F up. Someone else wrote, whether people saw the beginning or not, that kind of vile racist stuff is not tolerated in this world, calling someone who served their country the N-word and calling him a slave. Also, she was not chokeholded and slammed to the ground like she was screaming about. To which Terry responded, excuse me, were you there? Yes, I was choke slammed to the ground. You'll notice the part of that comment she decided not to address. She then responded to another comment calling her a racist, saying, yes, had they gotten the manager, none of this would have happened. So after all of this, we can confirm that not only is Terry absolutely not in jail, uh, if she ever even was, but she absolutely still believes that she was in the right. Terry Ann Bluse, the notorious airport Karen, dubbed one of the top 10 worst public freakouts of all time, not by me, uh, so how much does it really mean, has not a single shred of remorse and still believes she was the victim. I had to see it to believe it, folks. I, I almost still can't. Okay, well, I think this just about covers our bases here. Her Facebook history suggests she didn't do any jail time, first and foremost, unless it was a very quick stint between her posts in September of last year and June of this year, uh, where she mysteriously didn't post anything. But it also suggests that she has had... Uh, absolutely no level of contrition whatsoever and is sticking to her story that she is just the innocent victim of literally everyone else involved that day. While she responded angrily to some of the comments calling her out, the one thing she managed to dance around and not address was her obvious display of bigotry toward the black officers in the back of the car after she had been arrested, which many people pointed out didn't match her Facebook posts about systemic racism and benevolent Christianity at all. All in all, this whole Facebook rabbit hole really makes me wonder if this really wasn't anything to do with gabapentin and margaritas or dank nugs or anything of the sort, but that she really is just exactly the person that we saw in the video, probably all the time. But what do you think? Did you notice something I might have missed? Do you feel the same way about our story's Karen after seeing all of this other footage? Do you think it was true that the other passenger might have actually grabbed her by the throat despite her actions afterward. Does that female officer who dealt with her deserve a promotion? Leave it all in the comments below. I had a ton of fun making this. I'm sorry for the incredibly long runtime. It just couldn't be avoided. Uh, and I hope you enjoyed it as much as I enjoyed making it. All right, I'm going to go make myself a margarita. I'll see ya.